How you doing today, man? Pretty good, man. Yeah, you know, pretty, pretty good? Got to sleep in. I didn't have to wake up at 8.30 and do all the TV appearances that I had to do yesterday morning. They were a lot of fun, but it was just nice to sleep in. Mm -hmm. you know, relax, wake up on my own time, start the morning, and got to talk to the wife and everything. <laughs> Oh, you gotta make the good. morning calls it's now. Be hectic, so she ain't gonna get much of my time for the next few days. It was good to get there while I could. Yeah. Now we're here. This is a simple, you know, press conference. I gave I gave everybody a lot to talk about yesterday. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah man, I missed out on it. I wasn't there yesterday. Let me know what happened. You missed that? Yeah. yeah. Well, I heard some of it. <laughs> that the about bullshit comment. I heard that part. Oh, you heard yeah, that? I heard that. That was yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, I got. It. I mean, like I a lot of headlines you know, yesterday. You know, yeah. I was supporting AD, man. So, yeah, we you know, you know. I hope he ain't in his feelings, you know, about me saying that about bullshit. But, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, there's way worse memes out there and all sorts of stuff, man. Yeah. I mean, just, you work so hard, right? Yeah. And, like, if you ever watch my mid work, Keith Thurman's not a Floyd Mayweather, you know. And, and um, I remember. Uh, I saw Rashid Warren doing one of the speed drills too. And there's a lot of fighters that do those speed drills. In my opinion, those speed drills mm. do two things. One, they work, they help you with your fast twitch reaction, right? Fast twitch muscle fibers, right? But the second thing that they do is they really just, in my opinion, you should do it completely after your workout. Mm -hmm. Like when you're dead tired, you should just do it because coach wants to see you still move, you know, and they're encouraging you to, to move. And every little combo you're doing, nah, 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 it should feel it should feel horrible. Cause you should be like, I'm ready to go home, I'm ready to take a shower. Mm -hmm. The coach wants me to push this out, so I'm gonna do the speed drill real quick, and I'm gonna push myself till I burn out, and then we're gonna call it a day. You know what I mean? Um, I just, you know, you watch my mid work with my coach and everything like that. You know, I like more real jab setups, combo combos, sit down on the power. Um, because it's just funny, you know, uh, but like I said, Rasheed Warren was doing the speed drill too, and I love Rasheed Warren from the amateurs. We all used to have eyes on him glued. We all watched him, uh, you know, and I, I think he definitely would to be a uh, world Blue. champion. And he was, definitely, Chris, he was definitely in the fight, uh, you know, but you throw all these punches on the mix, right? You throw all these punches on the mix, then you get in a fight and you only throw so many punches, you know? Say, you know, practice what you teach is that you should you should walk the walk. If you're doing it there, you should be able to do it in the, the ring. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm never doing it because I don't know how I'm gonna. I'm not a uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. You know, I'm not. So your know, flurries come I mean, out. Yeah, they. And, and it's not because I'm doing flurries all day. Yeah. But if I was doing flurries all day in practice then I'm gonna find a way to do those flurries in the ring. Otherwise, why are you practicing flurries if you ain't trying to do in the ring? Why did it work so well for Floyd? Like, why did... Because if you really watch Floyd's, because like I said, Floyd knows why he's doing something. He did it for the strength, conditioning, fast twitch. The muscle memory too, maybe? All, all that stuff, the muscle memory. But also, Floyd, uh, he still did it in way more of an intense way. If you really watch the way he did some of this stuff, he did it in a very intense way, and he still was like putting a full jab out there and putting real hooks out there, right? And sometimes he was flurring it up, and uh, remember those bag drills for you used to do? Mm -hmm. He was all like, he was all like, yeah. Ha! He didn't explode. You know, this is, he, he's tired already. He's tired already. You know I was trying to knock him out. You know, when I said burn money, you know, American dollar, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's doing all this. You know, it's like even though he's tired, he's staying moving, and then he's still dropping power. Solid you know? compact shots. And, and, and you train. When you're training, you're doing this little technique over here, you're doing this little strength over here, you're doing some conditioning over here, but then it's all about taking all of those things and putting them together when it's time to spar and when it's time to actually fight. You know what I mean? And Floyd was really good at doing all that too. Let me so, ask you this. Is this, a, is this um, the second part of your career? Being that you're 30 years old, you're coming off an injury, 22 months. Are you in your prime right now? Is that fair to say? 
mean, that's what they say, you know. I, mean, <laughs> I thought I was in my prime when I was 16, knocking out grown men, you know. But okay. my whole life, they say, wait till you get older, boy. Wait yeah. till you get older, you know. Uh, Is this so, the money part of your career? Like when Floyd changed from pretty boy to money? And now oh, you're, no, no, is this is no. this the Keith Thurman? This all about the money time. and, wait, and, and well, the private I jets. Wait, wait till I wait till I change names. I told you, yeah, homie. <laughs> yeah I know. Wait, I had a private jet way back. You know, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, um, that's those those are those are blessings that I've been bestowed upon in my life. Like I said, I just got uh, good friends in good places. You know, um, and, you know. The day I got my own jet, baby, then we can really talk, you know what I'm saying? The day I got my own jet, you know, and, and I'm really living that bougie life, you know, we can talk. But, uh, you know, I just I just love Boston, guys, you know. I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy. It seems like you guys are happy. Absolutely. You know, I make the fans happy. And like I we said want to be happy yesterday, here. what did I say yeah. yesterday? Uh -huh. Keep one time Thurman's going to make Boston great. Okay. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thanks, Keith. Grab your spots out there. Appreciate it. Thanks, Keith.